How's it going YouTube? Pokemon Hatch here, back with another video. So, have a couple, uh, this is more gonna be um, vintage Pokemon related. So I wanted to show a couple of the PSA um, items that I've bought recently, and then I have this, what it looks here, basically I took out these pages of the binder, but I had a purchase through um, Facebook Marketplace, so this, they only, uh, showed about six or so pictures but it had a lot of like old like watsy and diamond and pearl stuff so i figured i'd just take a chance on it and when i went to pick it up um like it was kind of odd uh they didn't really give me like a chance to look through them i just went through the first they just handed it to me and were like you know 90 bucks i was like looked through the first few pages saw a lot of hollows and everything so i was like eh, i'll take a chance on it and uh maybe get some good stuff uh, the pictures on Facebook facebook marketplace kind of showed some you know jungle and fossil hollows um just a couple of things like that i honestly i couldn't tell if someone over hollows or not but first let's um i want to show you some of the purchases i have and um, these are from Dave and Adam. So we got, uh, it's, it's, it's been said many a time on uh, my channel, um, mainly into collecting like legendary Pokemon. So we have Celebi from Neo Revelation. This is a first edition. And I've just kind of decided as far as like the older stuff goes, I'm just going to um, collect PSA 9s. I really just like the artwork. These are mint copies. The cost on this, you know, I think this was like around $43 or something like that. And uh, um, the only reason I really got it, well, well, I did want it anyway. And it was a good price was I got a $25 coupon from them when they uh, backed out of an order of Hidden Fates ETBs on me. So I was like, okay, you know, and I wanted to get up to 200 bucks. So I uh, got this and just absolute beautiful card. Love the old style, uh, you know, the Watsy stuff. Um, that's really cool. Good addition to the collection. We'll set you back there. And then we have Articuno Reverse Foil from the Legendary Connection. This is another Mint 9. And I was able to get a Zapdos like locally from a buyer, um, a seller, I'm sorry. Uh, so I wanted to get this to go with that. So this is another PSA 9. Beautiful card. Just so cool. Love these Reverse Foils. Um, and then we also have the Moltres. Um, so you, um, you know, you got the, uh, the Spanish trio, uh, Articuno, Uno, um, um, Zapdos, Dos, and Moltres, Tres. Obviously, that's where that comes from. Uh, so this is a PSA 9 as well, reverse foil. That's awesome. I don't think the Zapdos I have will grade a 9, but, um, you know, I'll get one down the road. And then the other thing we have, and I can't remember the name of the place I got it, these from, but some really cool um i want to say these were also from neo rev oh man they really packaged that in there didn't they um hopefully there's no i want to make sure there's no addresses or stuff okay well they i guess their name is graded uh, power um dot com so not sponsored by them or anything but they do have some really good prices on ebay and online unfortunately now i actually living in maryland i um i don't know if i've said that before but living in maryland we pay taxes on uh, ebay purchases now so it kind of sucks i mean it's six percent it kind of adds up you know i've been wanting to buy like an old sealed uh watsy box you know i kind of want to get a fossil box but you know they're like three thousand thirty five hundred dollars so six percent of that is a lot of money um it's pretty crazy i usually do purchases like that whenever honestly i do a lot of ebay purchases when i have bonus bucks and there was like an eight percent bonus bucks when this came out and i basically you know six percent of that was taxes so whatever um so first we have um okay raikou one of my favorite pokemon absolutely gorgeous card love this little swirl over here i always thought that was kind of weird when people would talk about that but i just think it's kind of neat it actually is so i, I kind of get that i'll never get into miscut cards but the swirls and hollows and stuff is just really cool and probably the my camera probably doesn't do this justice um so that's really cool that's a psa 9 first ed and you know that was about 125 dollars. if it was a psa 10 i think you're talking like six seven hundred bucks maybe i think i saw one on ebay and last auction was at 600 it was still going who knows next we have uh ente this is also from neo revelation this is a first edition absolutely gorgeous card just love it 
This is going to be good for the collection. Um, being into collecting, like anything first edition, legendary from Wata area. Um, kind of chipping away at things. <laughs> I keep getting into like gold stars for a little bit. I get into the Call of Legends for a little bit. Now I'm into, you know, these and uh, it's just all over the place. But another swirl right there. So that's kind of cool, I believe. So that's neat. So those are my PSA ones. So let's get into this. And I don't know how long uh, I'm going to do. So I wanted to go through this like screen by screen. I, um, I'm sorry, page by page. I'll just pull out the hollows. So I don't know too much about anything outside of like Watsi area. So I'd have to look up a bunch of these, but I kind of just wanted to go through it with everyone for the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all the hollows and kind of go through everything. Nothing more. You got an unknown. That's kind of neat looking. I'm not sure what that set is from. Is that, is that Neo Rev? I don't know. I should have looked up some of these. No, that's from one of the Watsi ones, but I, I honestly can't recall all this. So you got a Sunflora over here that's also hollow. That's really cool. Um, not sure the set number from that, but that's really neat. It's kind of in the older style hollows. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. That's really cool. So I don't know. You can find some really good deals. We'll see if this one works out for me or not. And I'll, I'll take the rest of these out later. I just kind of want to get the hollows out right now and maybe some of the reverse and kind of go through these. So, okay, we got an unknown over here that is going to be a reverse foil. So that's really neat. Love the unknowns. I played the Pokemon Go game with my, uh, my family and I remember just trying to catch those things. It was absolutely crazy when I actually got the first ones for my sister. She lives in kind of a rural area. Oh, cool. Curlia from Delta Species. And probably the only reason I knew that is because it says Delta Species on it. Um, I was able to get her one because I live in, uh, uh, you know, pretty much the city. Um, and my sister lives in kind of more of a world like country area that doesn't really have. Oh, look, great beer. So there might be some in here that. I don't know. They did say there were some duplicates. Oh, cool. So we got some, is that Expedition? Some other stuff in here. So maybe I should be taking all of these out. Oh, goodness. Because we don't know what all is in here. So here's a uh, Graveler. Not sure what that's from, but that's really cool. I think I'm just going to sleeve these later. You got a Torkoal Reverse. That's neat. And then you got Curlia. So I am going to put this over here. And honestly, this uh, graded power, let me show you. Um, yeah, so gradedpower.com. So they put that in the thing. So cool. All right. So um, as I said, not sponsored by them or anything, but let's go ahead and take these out. So this is Sunflora. Just in case there's any doubles in here, I think it'd be neat to kind of. They should, the girl I bought them from did say there was things behind all the cards. So it's not necessarily all doubles, but. You know, we can see we got a shop it and then another shop it. I don't know what that's from. So I'll look all these up later, but um, just kind of really interested in hollows. Um, and honestly, you know, it's neat to have a lot of these that are um, not hollows too. You know, it's all kind of new to me because I, I didn't collect these when until like, you know, start collecting to like the last, you know, six months or so, honestly. So. This might actually take too long pulling all these out. So maybe I'll just go look at the hollows. Got Lombre, Lotad. So, wow, oh, okay. Yeah, got a Magikarp here. That's cool. Neat. Too bad it's not like a shiny Magikarp or something like that. So I'll be throwing this unknown. So cool. Yeah, so as I was saying with the unknown, it was like playing the Pokemon Go and getting it first for my sister. She was just like super ecstatic. So it doesn't look like we're just going to go ahead and just um, see if there's any hollows or anything on each one and just kind of pull them out because I don't have all day to do this. I got to get it back to work. So, okay. We got on this one, looks like we got a Kranidos. And I don't know what that's from. Looks like we got two of them. Two hollow Kranidos is cool. Ooh, got a swirl there. And another one. So neat. All right. And layers look like, um, those look like promos. So I have to look those up. I don't really know the cost of a lot of this stuff, but what do we got? Uh, it doesn't look like anything there. That's a really cool Gengar, but it's not um, holographic. So I'll pull all those out later. 
And what else do we have here? Wow, some of these are really thick things. I wonder what's all behind these. So that'll be fun to pull out. Sorry, I'm just not gonna. Oh, we got a shoulder here. That's a hollow. That's cool from uh, Dragon Frontiers. That's pretty neat. And that's just a regular one and a cloister. So, uh, you know what? I keep on changing my mind here, but there's so many cards in here, it's crazy. We've got Lick a Tongue. And what do we got? Dust Clops. Keep just changing my. Uh, ever since my. Um, my camera kind of cuts out on me. I always get worried and kind of don't want to keep videos going too far, I guess. But there's a, is that a, nope, that's not a hollow. So I'm just going to go through them here. Ooh, we got a mana fee. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, two of them. So this must be from Diamond and Pearl. Neat. Those are awesome. That's really cool. And as you know, I do collect the legendaries. So uh, I believe Manaphy is like a mystical Pokemon, but it, you know, close enough. I uh, I like the mystical and legendary. Let's just put it that way. So like Mew, I guess would be a mystical Pokemon. Love Mew. So you know, and the Mewtwo would be legendary. So uh, looks like got a Piplup from Diamond and Pearl. That's cool. Uh, if I can get this thing out, I think that's a reverse. Yeah, sure is. Gosh, these old cards are just absolutely stunning. Isn't it weird that, I mean, some of the cards nowadays are like, they are good, but it just seems like, oh, a Jolteon, neat, holographic. All right, that's really cool. All right, it, it, it just seems like some of the cards that are made today, like, I think mainly it's the hollow. The hollow back then and a Flareon holographic, awesome. The hollows back then and even in the Diamond and Pearl, they're just so much better. Just don't know why they've got away from that that's just i've said it in my videos before and like when people pull a hollow out of a pack they're just like eh. you know back in the day you know that's what you wanted i mean they didn't have anything else really but here's a prim plup not really sure about that one so that's cool all right that's a reverse and it looks like we got a vamporeon here and a leafeon Wow, this looks like the uh, the Eevee page right here. I don't know what that's from. I just don't know all these symbols. I apologize. I just, a lot of this is, and I do not have many of these, but this is a Leafeon uh, X. I don't know what that's from either. I'll have to look that up later. That's really cool. I know I don't have that. So I think I might, I might have to start a binder with just hollows because I have a binder that is basically all my legendary Pokemon, you know, I collect even their, you know, um, just like the few dollar cards. If everything, anything's a little bit more expensive or so, here's a Chingling um, reverse there. So it looks like everything behind, okay, cool, is uh, not necessary hollow, but it could be. There's a reverse Wormadon. So I do have a collection of uh, like a binder that's basically just full of. Um, uh, legendary Pokemon, but it's like a few dollar, like you know, like the common, you know, the ones that are like non. They could be holo, hollow, but they're really not worth that much. They're just a couple books. Then I have another binder that's you know everything like you know maybe like anything like GX related or you know something like that. So it looks like we got a Hoppany and Turtwig uh, reverses. Cool. All right, and we got Chansey. What is that from? I'd have to look up that too. And another Chansey. That's really cool. So nothing else on that page. Maybe some cool stuff hiding behind. I don't know. Ooh, a Metagross EX. That's really neat. That's so cool. All right. Man, I love the silver border. That is really, really cool. This seems like it might be some from something around the uh, Call of Legends series. And if my video does cut out, I'm just going to do another video and just be on. I don't have time to like edit a bunch of like stuff. Okay, so we got a Magma Might from uh, Legend. Is that Legend Maker? Something. Okay. More Magnetons. So they did definitely. Okay, that's really cool. Love that hollow pattern. That is really neat. It's so cool looking at these for the first time because I, like I, w I didn't collect Pokemon cards back then, so all this is kind of new to me. Here's an unknown, and that looks like that's a hollow. 
Cool. That one's in kind of bad. Yeah, that's in played with condition. They must have. Uh, I'll just set that over for now. Um, yeah, they must have been using that. Ooh, there's a mud kit. That's cool. Too bad it's not like a gold star or something like that. So we got snow run unknown. Electric. Ooh, Latios from. Hold on, Phantoms. I would say almost already. This is. Uh, this seems like a pretty decent purchase so far. I mean, 90 bucks for all this. Maybe we'll. Hopefully, I mean, just from what we've gotten so far, I mean, nothing really crazy that I know of. You know, you got this energy right here. That's like a hollow pattern. That's really cool. And then this night maintenance. Uh, nobody probably cares about that. Hold on, scientist. Neat. I guess that's from the... Um, I remember watching an episode of like Big Bang Theory where they had like this hole on collider or something like that, I believe. It's like in Sweden or something like that. So really cool Pikachu right there. Oh, and there's a one from uh, Jungle. I actually do know that one and a Pichu. Okay. That is really neat. That's a reverse. We got Magby, Chikorita, nothing else shiny there. Ooh, Rhinehorn. Okay, cool. Love that holographic. That pattern's a little bit worse, but I like the I like those. But you know, as I said, it's like the the older stuff. Hollows are just so neat. Usa Ring reverse. And let's see what else do we have here. We got a B drill. That's really cool. I don't know anything about these energies. Rainbow energy, Bastiodon. That's cool. All right, got a Farfetch'd reverse. I'm just pulling out anything that's shiny. Okay. Ooh, we got a Kangas Khan. This is a uh, from uh, Jungle. That is in really good condition. It's too bad it's not first. Ed oh, no. Nope. Let's look. We got like a little crimp right there. And does have some edge wear on the back. But that's still really neat. We're going to go ahead and sleeve it up anyway. That's really cool still. I love the love the old stuff. Anything like that. Too bad it's not first edition. But I'd probably be upset if it was first edition and it had that damage on it too. I'd have been like, ooh, that's a winner. And then nothing. Uh, so cool, Vulpix, Ponyta. Oh, we got Azelf. That's awesome. That's a uh, that's a legendary or mystical Pokemon that I collect. So that's really cool. Awesome. I'm gonna have to go through these a little later. I'm trying to go kind of quickly, but um, you know we got a Monferno from Diamond and Pearl Reverse. And what? Oh, look at this Nine Tails. Wow, that's awesome. That is so cool. It's like, is that shiny? Is it night is night tails that color? I am not sure. I honestly am not. I'll have to look that card up. So if anybody knows in the comments, let me know. But I'll, I'll look this up like right after. But I thought nine tails, I'm trying to think. Um I think the color of nine tails is like is like a brown i think but i don't know if it's that gold i mean that looks weird Ooh, mew sweet look at this that is absolutely gorgeous card so cool looking I apologize if i'm not putting the cards in the um in the uh centered in the screen i'm just kind of trying to go through this and enjoy it. Ooh, an audino reverse yeah, I think this ended up being a pretty decent purchase even so far. We got a Grimer. Not sure what that's from, but it's a reverse and a Muck. Non-holographic. Got Psyduck keeping on holding his brain there. All right, we got a War Turtle. That looks like a reverse of something. And we got a War Turtle from, is that Expedition or Aquapolis? I don't know. Uh, I it's like E series or something. I think is that it? I don't know. I'd have to look up. That's one set that I haven't really spent a whole lot of time uh, researching. Is these? So I mean, like oh look at that. Of course, uh, I don't know. So I don't know. I can't really tell the difference between um, Aquapolis and Expedition and all those. So I'll be, I'll be sure to look that up after this video. I just don't have really any of those cards. So, um, okay. So we got Wingull, Executor, nothing shiny on that one. Kind of concerns me that maybe they took out some cards there. We got a Sableye here. 
That's cool. From, yeah, come on out. From, is that Power Keepers? Yeah, Crystal Power Keepers, cool. That's an awesome card. That's a hollow, but it's kind of a cruddy hollow. It doesn't have all that like sparkles and everything. So let's see what else we got here. Clefable, Cedra, nothing else there. Lots of commons there. So, okay. Ooh, a Shaman. All right. There's another mystical Pokemon. Really cool holo there. All right. So, we got Elicate and Patriso. That's from Diamond and Pearl. That's really cool. All right. On the back, just an Electabuzz. Oh, cool. Venusaur from Base 2. Awesome. All right. Looks to be in decent condition. I don't want to say anything until the back. Ooh, that's really good. Maybe a little bit of edge wear there, a little white up there, but honestly, pretty decent. Too bad it's not um, base set, but I'll take it. That's awesome. Sweet. I do not have that card. Uh, so what else? We got War Turtle, Caterpie. Oh, that's Shadowless. Sure is. Yeah, that's Shadowless. Yeah, 99. Cool. You can tell by the 1999 down here, and there's no shadow over here. But the easiest way to tell is the 99. Wow, that's in really good condition. Let's leave that up. We might get that PSA graded, even though it's not, you know, first edition. Still shadowless. Still cool. All right. Looks like we got Charmander, Ivysaur. And there might be something special behind here, but I'm going to save that. Ooh, we got a Squirtle. That's shadowless as well. That's cool. I should be taking these out. That's really cool. Shadowless Squirtle. All right. I'm gonna, we're going to put you in a... And you got a lot of base two. Wow, there's just everything in here. Okay, since it's Charmander, we're going to take you out and see what's behind here. Just in case. Ooh, that one's bad. It's not Shadowless, though. And you got a first edition Charmander from uh, Team Rocket here. Cool. All right. And then more Charmillions. Looks like the, most of these that are duplicates are the same type. But still cool. Still really neat. Let's see what kind of Ivysaurs we have here. Ooh, Shadowless Ivysaur. Cool. That's neat. All right. And probably here's Bulbasaur. All right, let's see if there's anything in here. Bulbasaur. That's Shadowless Bulbasaur there. Neat. Okay. We'll go ahead and on to the next one. And we got, I don't know what that is. Oh, is that a uh, Southern something? Could be. Wow, this is, uh, that's not Shadowless. So we got a Shadowless Beedrill there. Um, that's not Shadowless. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell with some of the um, colorless Pokemon who's what. So there's a Butterfree. I wonder if any of these are like the uh, air ones. Doesn't look like it. So cool. Ooh, a Kakuna. All right, that's neat. All right, let's keep going. So if the video does cut off, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just create a new one. And I apologize for that. But they were kind of reaching about the time where um, where it typically does. I'm not, I haven't quite figured it out yet. It's more from, these are all like commons, it looks like, from Jungle. No first editions or anything, but they're all commons, but still cool. I don't know if I have that. It's fun to put together the sets of the old ones. Lots of, you know, even if they're not holographic. But anything that's not holographic just gets such poo-pooed on. It's so sad. I don't think I have that gold duck. Don't think I do. And I think that's a rare. That's cool. There's a Meowth from Jungle. First edition Mankey. That's neat. From Team Rocket. Okay. All right. Looks like we're getting into... Oh, cool. Alakazam. That is really cool. What is that from? Is that a legendary collection? That's a hollow. That's for sure. And I want to say that's from legendary collection, but the easiest way to tell is I have some over here. And yes, it is from legendary collection. I thought it was. 
Okay, that's cool. Not in the, oh, it is not in bad condition either. Got a little edge wear and stuff, but that's really cool. Neat hit there. Okay, that's cool. Um, here's some more Shadowless, Shadowless, Shadowless Machop. Okay, let's see if any of these Poliwhirl or anything. Oh, wait, no, it's Poliwrath that's the hollow, isn't it? Okay, so these are probably going to be just all Poliwags. We never know. There might be something cool sitting behind there. Ooh, that thing's all messed up. Looks like someone burnt that with a cigarette butt or something. Look at that. Oh, well. Uh, you got Katabra, and then on the back, that's a cool Team Rocket uh, Machop. Okay, first edition Abra over there. That's neat. Okay, then Geodude from Fossil. We're into all bunch of Watsy stuff here. Wow, a lot of Watsy. Okay, maybe there's something behind here, but I'll probably just go ahead and um, do that off camera. Go through that. Got Ghastly, Grimer. Yeah. This almost looks like they uh, somebody went through and got a lot of the hollows out of here. I don't know. Why would they do that and leave all the other stuff? You know, it doesn't make much sense. Look, uh, Onyx, Shadowless. That's cool. No first edition, really, of uh, base set, but we do have a lot of Shadowless. So, okay. Oh, a Hitmonchan. Okay. Oh, and it's Shadowless. Wow. I guess they didn't uh, go through this. Somebody didn't pick through this. Wow, that's so awesome. Look at the shine on that. That is a not bad. Looks like some edge rare right up here. But that is still an awesome card. Might not be worth too much. First edition obviously would be better, but that is definitely a hit. All right, got Horsey, Tangela. Another Hitman Chan there. I need to figure out what that symbol's from. Not really sure. All right, what else do we got here? We got Electabuzz, Scyther, Mr. Mime from base two, non hollow. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff stacked in there. We might actually be, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. We got Tauros, Legendary Collection, Reverse. That is really cool. We don't have that in our collection yet. Not Probably not worth much um, as obviously like a, Charizard or something like that, but I love how these uh, legendary collection ones obviously it's not ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh. That's a that's Shadowless Gyarados. Holy crap. That is awesome. How's the condition? Maybe a little bit of whitening up here, I think, but other than that, that is in really good condition. I still might get that graded. Wow, that uh, that's pretty awesome. I'll have to take a better look at that off camera. I don't want to knock my camera over like I knew, normally do, but that is definitely a hit right there. Shadowless Gyarados. Sweet. Okay. All right. That's a big hit. Got Eevee, Porygon. That's a... Yeah, Shadowless Porygon. Wow. Lots of Shadowless. Uh, I've, I've gotten a few of these collections in the past. Um... One of, I've gotten a lot of these, like, they seem to be, you get more shadowless than you do um, first ed, it seems to me. I don't know, well, I mean, just in what I've gotten lucky on, and, you know, finding a few of these collections out in the wild. Ooh, all right, come on, be, oh, darn it. It's not, it's unlimited, I think. I was hoping this is going to be shadowless. Wait, no, it is shadowless. Holy crap, Mewtwo, shadowless. Awesome, no way. Ah, oh, looks like some Edgeware Edgeware up here, but still not bad. Not bad at all. All right. That's definitely a hit, big hit right there. I I um I was just thinking just because you know the the Mewtwo's kind of dark all over the